Hey guys, so as I'm sure you guys all know, when the G7X Mark III came out, it didn't have 24 frames per second, but in this video, I'll be showing you how to get it on the camera, just with a simple software update from Canon. They announced, like, uh, in October, which I'm actually surprised that not many people know that you can get 24 frames per second on it, which I know a lot of people didn't buy it because of that, but now you can. So let's uh, show you the link where to get the software and how to put it on the camera. So what you want to do is, I'll put this link in the description, Mac and Windows works the same. So click download, then click accept, or whatever, to allow it. It'll show up right here. So double click on it, if you're on Windows or Mac, and then just get to the folder where the content is. Now what you want to do, is you want to plug in this SD card for the camera, into the computer so for my particular Mac you need an adapter but yeah let's get the SD card right here and plug it in and then open and then open the folder for the SD card so here's my SD card folder right here and then want to get the also open up the folder with the um software and once you open it you want to drag the FIR folder just straight on to the SD card folder not in any of the DCIM just on its own thing right here and again it's the FIR and then once you're done doing that eject the SD card put it back in the camera I already did it, so, but yeah, then what you want to do is go into the menu, go all the way to the right, um, this tab that has a little wrench on it, right, and then go down to where it says firmware, click OK, and then it will have an option, and then click update and then it will do a little bit of loading and then it will ask do you want to update to 1.2 and then you have to click on the 1.2 version it should be the only one on there and then click accept it will do like a percentage bar it takes like two minutes three minutes and then it will turn off and then you turn back the camera on and then you should go into the make sure it's an NTSC unless you're living in Europe and then you can choose right there 24 and it also fixes the autofocus and I think the overheating hasn't overheated on me like at all which is nice so I think it fixed all the problems which is great thanks for watching leave a like and sub if you found it helpful. Gustavo Asano see you in the next one